you know, growing up playing baseball in Canada, it was really tough and really cold. But you know what? I still did awesome. I mean, I sort of got only 90% of my trophies are participant trophies, you know, for not being a loser, but it's tough trying to beat a winner here when, you know, it's like below zero degrees. But it's not all bad. I mean, we have upgraded technology. I mean, we have virtual spring training. It's awesome. I love it. I don't have to move that much. Time for another long day of training. Oh my god. Okay, that wasn't even my fault. It must have been a glitch or something in the system. You know what happens. You know, I wouldn't mind making a lot of money just chewing bubble gum and, you know, spitting on turf. I mean, it's turf, it's not even grass. It's not like it's gonna die. You know, I don't really feel bad about it. Like, okay, I feel bad about that because I gotta clean it up, but you know what? You know, no teams have contacted me yet, so they're just saving room for me just to put me on the roster. I know that, I know that. And it's hard to drive down here through the border because of the friggin' weather, you know? Have you seen truck driving on the History Channel? It's brutal. It's brutal up here trying to drive, and that's what it is every single day. Now try being a traveling baseball player trying to do that. You're risking your life. I'm risking my life every day to please the 32 fans that come to my stadium and watch me play. I'm gonna change how the world looks at Canadian baseball players. I'm gonna melt this snow to the ground. Probably not literally, but you know, with my skills or whatever, just, just, you edit that out, like, please.